Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you are new here. If you are, please hit that subscribe button. I normally leave that to the end, but a lot of people don't watch all the way to the end, so I'm going to put it here. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new and want to see more. You guys, I finally did it. I have been putting off ordering these molds for forever because they intimidate the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's literally the only reason. I'm so intimidated by them, but I finally gave in. So, you you guys are all probably confused and like, Megan, what the frick are you talking about? I finally ordered some globe molds or ball molds or whatever you want to call them. Got this kit off of um, Amazon. Let me just pull everything out here. This was really cheap, too. I think the whole thing was probably $15. Um, and actually, I should have taken them out of the bags before showing you. So let me unwrap all of these so that you don't have to listen to the crinkle. And, uh, yeah. Uh, be right back. Okay, they're all unmolded and put together. So this kit came with one of these silicone cups, which is awesome because that's what I currently use a lot. So I can always use extras of those. It came with eight uh, ball molds, marble molds, whatever you want to call them molds. So we've got the biggest one here, which is a really good size. And then you've got three others that are the same, or sorry, four others that are the same type. And then also these three little ones that look like they would be hard to unmold, but according to them on their website, they're actually not that hard. So I guess I'll eventually find out. Um, and then I didn't unwrap these because I didn't need to, but it also came with some uh, disposable pipettes. But I have 200 of those if you've <laughs> watched my channel for a while. Anyway, today I was, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do the big one. And I have these butterflies. Um, I got these at least 15 years ago probably at um, the pottery in Williamsburg, Virginia back in the day when they had dirt floors and they actually sold awesome crafty things. I bought a couple of packs of these and yes, I'm a hoarder so I've held on to them. So today I picked out one of the butterflies um, that I'm going to put into here so I do have my resin warming up and the way that I'm actually going to do that is um, I'm just gonna pour half first then um, put the butterfly in there to let that half cure so that the butterfly is standing up and then come back um, after this is cured add the lid and then you know, finish pouring the rest of my resin in. So that way the butterfly will be standing up instead of, you know, flopping over or doing anything weird. So that's my plan. Um, if you would like to see how it turns out, please stick around.
to take ooh, this off <laughs> so this is just some blue tack that I mounted the butterfly to so that I could stabilize it so it wouldn't flop over that's what it looks like so far so now I'm going to take the lid and put it on there Hopefully. Okay. And then I'm going to take my blue painter's tape and I'm going to wrap that around the seam. Hopefully will work if the painter's tape will stick. Which it doesn't look like it's going to very well. This is probably something I don't even really need to do. scratch that idea <laughs> okay one thing I can see maybe you guys will be able to as well is at the the tip of the wing there we go it's kind of bending inside of there so I don't much care for that Like, I want it to, if it's going to bend, I'd rather it bend forward, not backwards. So let's try. There we go, that's better. Just repositioning it. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So the wings are now pointed forwards instead of backwards. Yeah, I prefer that. Okay. We'll get the uh, resin and pour it in.
Alrighty, friends. So this is nice and solid. Um, I did notice on my mat that there was some leakage around the edge. So it's not going to be a perfect circle or a orb, globe, you know, that thing. I don't know. I'm not a mathematician. Um, which I didn't expect it to be anyway. I expected that there would probably be some kind of sanding that I would have to do to make it perfectly round. Um, which in all honesty I'm not going to be able to do right now because um, I'm about to spend a week on vacation with my children and I'd much rather spend that time with them than sanding. Thanks. But <laughs> that said... Let's unmold this. I'm nervous, um, but also excited. Oh, I'm getting a sneak peek. Okay. I'm just going to get it like this. Just kind of loosen it up, loosey goosey. Okay. Y'all ready? Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, I'm seeing a ton, <laughs> a metric ton of micro bubbles. Um, but, I don't know, it kind of adds something to it. Oh, wow, the bubbles are terrible up top. Let me see if I can get you guys focused in on that. Maybe not. No, it won't let me focus. Um, I guess you can kind of see them right there. Like that really big one. But hey, you know what? This was my first dome pour. And because it had leaked, I did have to add some resin to the top. Um, you know, so that it filled the top and the resin was starting to set. So that could be the cause as well. But let's go ahead and get the bottom half off. All right. And, let's see, the, um, yeah, this would need a heck of a lot of, you can see the lip right there, that would need a ton of, um, sanding, but what's really, really cool about this, and kind of not cool at the same time, is that I can see the line where I finished the first pour, you can kind of see it too there, right here. I can see the line where I finished the first pour and the glitter, or um, what, what do they call this? I guess mica flakes is what they call it, um, that I poured in there has floated to the top a little bit. So it's sitting um, horizontally instead of vertically in there. But this is really cool. Oh no, I got a hair in it. Oh, that's a disappointment. I mean, the whole thing is kind of a disappointment because it didn't turn out exactly like I'd hoped. But that's what it looks like, guys. Um, I definitely put far too much of the glitter stuff in there for it to show on camera very well. The butterfly, I mean. But other than that... It's a successful first pour. It's a successful first time trying it. I'm just going to have to figure out a way to keep it closed tight so that it doesn't spill over like this. Because I really do think that the spillover is probably what caused this huge major shelf. Because it's not bad on right here. Like, this is almost perfect. It would need very little, very little sanding. But it looks like the top half is so much bigger than the bottom half. And so it just kind of sat on top of there. But I'm not really... Let me throw these pieces away. I'm not really seeing that that is the case. Like, when I put it together... It fits really well. I just think that it kind of squeezed out of the sides, which caused 
that shelf. I'm trying to look through the hole right now to see if I can see like yeah I mean it looks like it sits really well so I'm not really sure why it would cause that big of a shelf other than my my hypotenuse is that it just squeezed out through the sides and that's why but I got a bonus um, a bonus pour for you guys I've already demolded them because I just wanted to take a look but I had a bunch of um, the clear glitter left over so I poured some wings aren't they so pretty now these turned out fantastic absolutely fantastic they're clear Let me move that out of the way there we go with a little bit of that glitter in there Ah, oh, so beautiful I love these mm-hmm and look at them too so this is the back side and I just think it's like the lines I think are even more impressive on the back side just because they show up a little bit a little bit better come on camera there we go but anyway let me know what you guys think if you have any suggestions on how to prevent this crease um, you know one thought I had was pouring half of it and then pouring the ha the same half again and then gluing them together basically <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna continue playing with them so if you're up for that continue um, continue watching my videos by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications um give me a thumbs up as a way to go you tried <laughs> for this yeah that's all i have to say thank you guys so much for watching take care